I think that's long enough. Hey, sis, I seen you. I'm having to keep track of stuff. I am on my computer. If I didn't, I wouldn't have all this or the stuff set up in the background. But I can't. But I can't be on long. Um, I can run it normally for normal everyday tasks, stuff like that. Uh, not long periods. Um, I've been on it probably for close to two hours. Um, right now my GPU is at 55 degrees Celsius, which isn't terrible. Just got to keep an eye on it. I can't play games because it will start heating up. I did run a game earlier because I wanted to test something. That's without any games. If I was running, when I ran a game earlier, it got up to about 80 degrees. And I quickly grabbed my electric, just on the charger right now, but my electric uh, air duster and aimed it at that motherfucker and forced the GPU fans to spin since they can spin freely and forced it. And I pulled it back off. So I could rig something up to blow on them motherfuckers if I really wanted, but I don't highly recommend that. I feel like that would be worse than what's for the best. But anyway. Redneck. You know, normally I would, but what if, just hear me out, what if I redneck it? I thought one of them was turning. I was like, you lying bitch. But that's not just the lighting. Um, fuck it, rig it. I did it for a minute. Cam, but what if it breaks? <laughs> What if my hair does the break? This bitch gets loud. Granted, with my headset, I don't hear it that much, but it's fucking loud. Hold on. I will show you how loud it is, because I can do this. Uh, you're hearing the background noise of the AC unit. See how loud that fucking is? I use an audio software. Yeah. Let's <laughs> go real you're not wrong. You're not wrong. But I can only, I have to, when I set this up, I can only get one side, like one fan to turn. I can't get them both because it's not, I can't perfectly set it in the case. I'm ha I had to angle it barely. So I feel like it's only going to cool half the card. Pulling half a GPU is good, but it's not great. Um, and I'd hate to fry this fucking computer because I do plan on still using this computer in not my builds, but for other systems um, in my future planning. So I don't want to lose it because I will end up just replacing that graphics card in time. Um, be honest... If I wanted to reroute some shit, I would move the all-in-one cooler from the front to the top, move the top two fans where the cooler is, and then all I would need is a bigger uh, power supply, and I could put a bigger GPU in there. Granted, I wouldn't go too much bigger because it'll be CPU bottleneck, but I don't want to get rid of this computer. I don't want to destroy it. Um, but yeah. Because I did run uh, Fallout earlier because I wanted to take a look at something and run some tests. But I've took apart that card so many fucking times. Because I have replaced one of those fans before. <clears throat> I don't know what happened, but when I put the new fans in, nothing. And when I put the old fans in, still nothing. So something shorted out, I'm guessing, with the new fans. I'm wondering if that's why they gave me my fucking refund before I've even shipped the fucking old fans, the new fans back to them. I don't know, but I did. Normally they're like, we'll send you it once it's in shipment back to the seller. Nope, I got a fucking refund next day. I don't know if it's because of the comment I left, but I was kind of pissed off. Because to get that same type of card, it's $450 used. So yeah, I could spend the money one week and replace it. But I'm not. I'm just going to slowly put money up because I've got other stuff i got to work on, other projects, and I will just get to that. I might rig it up to do games with friends on weekends, 
since we usually only play for an hour or two. I just don't know, one, this isn't going to last forever. That's the issue. This will end up going dead. And this really is the only way I can call it. And I'm not just going to go, wow, trying to game like, fuck, I'm going to die. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> just, no. Um, so, but I have went through all my PC parts. I have made decisions. Fuck, it's hard to see shit. New tab. Fuck, uh, what was it? What was it? this? I'm actually going to show the build I have. Save parts, my custom build. Okay. Trying to remember. Not that. It's this display. Not that monitor. That monitor. It's so big, it's taking up the whole fucking screen. I'm going to put it right there beside my head. Here, I'll. Ah. Wrong way. It's kind of hard to know because it's flipped on me. But that is my current GPU. We'll scoot over a little bit more so I can make it more full screen. But that is my current uh, GPU. Uh, I'm looking at getting an amp uh, Ryzen 78X3D. The cooler I picked out was the Corsair. I was looking at another one, but that's the one I've currently settled on. I did change up my motherboard to a more expensive motherboard. I probably don't have to go the route, but the main reason why... One besides the freaking indicator that I like is it has so many freaking USB ports. Good. I have multiple. Don't I think that one has maybe seven, eight ports, and I need as many as fucking possible. And this motherboard for the, had the most. And I am using more devices with C, and that one up there only comes with one, which is annoying. So I do like this one S three. There was only one other motherboard I found that had more than one C uh, oh, top port, and that was it? two. So I decided on this one. It's just fucking expensive. <laughs> fucking expensive. Um, just set it on some Trident memory. Um, so because um, it's not Expo, which I think would be good. I just got a two terabyte hard drive because technically I still have my freaking SATA drive in this computer. Because when I do switch, I will be taking my one terabyte out of that motherfucker. Um, I looked at the. I did look at NVIDIA, because technically that is an NVIDIA card, and because of pricing. This bitch is cheaper on Amazon. Why the f... Oh, update six minutes ago. I was say, this they weren't available on Amazon a single. The only ones available were 700 on Newegg. <laughs> but I decided I'm just going to get the 7900 XT. 1,000 watt will be more than enough. That way, in time, if I want to upgrade it, I've got plenty of power. And I'm still going with the full tower fucking case. And this bitch is fucking massive. The case that's up there is closer to the... Probably the four to 5,000D. Like, there's a chance it won't even fit on that shelf. We might have to make it a separate shelf. That's how big this fucking case is. I'm only going that big because I have bigger fucking hands. Uh, Turn display full. But yeah. That's that's the PC build. It was. Why the change in price? Oh, because it dropped on Amazon, so it just automatically updated. Okay, but yeah, for all that, it's going to cost two thousand one hundred and seventy nine dollars. Plus, I'm going to buy some extra fans because since this is a larger case, I think it can hold twelve fans total. I think is what it said. But I will have a cooler, so I'm just going to buy two, three packs. You know what I'm saying? So if I have extra fans, I have extra fans. They're not that expensive. Um, and I don't spend the money on a freaking Windows uh, key because I've got one for this computer. Either, excuse me, up there or behind this monitor. Because wire management went shit again. But that is the current plan. I might rig something up, but I... 
I really would hate to break this because if I break it, is there something on my fucking head? I think that was an ant or that was dirt. I don't know. Because I found out I did have ants again in here. I put some more paint out. But, um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to go the right. I really would hate to rig it up. I could do it as a test run, but I'd have to make sure I'm keeping an eye on GPU temps. Because if I seen it get anywhere around 70 or 80, I'd have to pull the plug. Because I don't want to fry it, because I can still use it as a workstation. Um, because if it starts getting a little hot, I can quickly cool it off real quick or turn it off for a little bit, and then it'd cool off on its own, and I'd be fine. So I, I don't want to break it. I'm not saying that I wouldn't, I won't test it. I might try that out this week in cam because I really want to finish the Crypt of Backrooms. I'd like to finish it. If if, if Tex and Lynn is available, I can find a way to temporary rig it that I feel comfortable with to do a small test run. I will we'll try to finish Escape the Backrooms Saturday, but that will probably be my last game. I still have my uh, Steam Deck so I can still play games with everyone, I probably just have to do Discord through my phone. So I mean, I can still play games with everybody if I go that route, as long as it'll load. I just can't play games with mods, cause Steam Deck, it will not fucking load mods. I tried, it says fuck off. Granted, I don't have an extra mouse and keyboard, so I'd have to start unplugging shit, and I don't want to, but I will for y'all because I love you. Um. But I can always easily unplug the controller. So if you want, we can try that this weekend. Just to finish Escape the Backrooms. And then after that, we can, uh, if we play anything, it'll just have to be on the Steam Deck. I'll just have to make sure it can play it. Because some games are compatible, some ain't. But that's about it. I wasn't planning on doing any long streaming. That way I don't overheat the fucking card. It's still around 54 degrees. It's kind of set up around 54 to 55. I've kept it 68 degrees in the shed. I've been trying to keep it cool, but that's about it, I guess. I, to be honest, I hate hopping off because I don't think I'll be back by May. I really don't. Um, because I've got a vacation I got to plan for. I just got a new uh vehicle because my other one was. It was reaching its limits. I miss it. I miss the stereo. <laughs> I've been saying that for two weeks now. I miss the stereo from my old car, but it is what it is. Um, which I am about to go make supper, because I'm not making supper yet. I am making tomato pasta. I had some for lunch, and it really hit the spot. So I went to Walmart, spent just under six bucks, and got everything I needed. The only thing I didn't buy was bread, because I still had bread here. But, uh, yeah. I hate it. If I could go back and before I would have changed out the fans, I would have in a fucking heartbeat. I hate that I'm going to be offline. I hate that I'm going to be off Twitch. Because I do have... Um, let me bring that back up so I can see. Yeah, I, I, I think Megan says you're the only one that's currently subbed. And that's through your Twitch. When it expires, let it expire. Um, because that was one thing that bothered me was I did have, I think the other day I was at three or four, so I think they finally just expired from people, but I don't want people subscribed to my channel if they're not getting any content. Um, so, Cam, if you're still there, we can discuss rigging something up to finish Escape the Backrooms, because there's only nine new levels, I think, that day. Let me look. Do I click on Discord or Steam? Discord. Why does my date will update it? Uh, skip the back rooms, skip the back rooms. There it is. Click it. It was nine new levels. I can't remember how many levels we went through. I know we went through. The hotel chase. I think we went through either three or four. Or either four or five. We're close to halfway, I think. I'll talk with Linda and Tech, see 
let them know, see their current opinion on it. Granted, like I said, if I do it, it's got to be something that I'm constantly monitoring. Like, I'm going to have to have the game, I'll have the game pulled up, and uh, OBS will be pulled up with chat, and I will do my best to pick up on chat. But I need to have uh, something full screen overlay. If I can get this bitch to open. There's three sirens. Who the fuck died? Who the, who the fuck fucked up? Who fucked around and found out? Thank you. Got it. Got it. Yeah. It's annoying, but I can bring this up. It's an overlay on my screen. I was wondering why it was working the other day, but I finally got it. Um, so I can actually close this out. If I, which I'm jittering. It it lags whenever I open and close that. I don't know why. Just for a moment. Um, right now GPU is at 58 degrees Celsius, 57. It's still okay. But that's because we're not running a game. Uh, if I start running a game, it's going to fucking. So I if uh I'll give a text Linda and Cam discuss it, I know what Cam's opinion is but I'll ask I'll discuss it with Tex and Linda if they think we can finish it in a weekend and they're available we will finish the new levels of Escape from Backrooms this week and then after that that will be my last game until I get the next computer. Just because, like I said, I can still technically use this as a workstation as long as I don't break it. If that graphics card completely goes out, that computer is nothing. It will not look boat. It will not load. I won't be able to do anything with it. Right now, at least it still boots, even though the fans don't work. <clears throat> Which is fucking annoying. But it is what it is. Sorry for being a negative Nancy. <clears throat> so, if you get a notification Saturday, it's because I talked over my friends. Fuck it, we're going to risk it for the biscuit. But the agreement will be, if I find out I can't keep it pulled off enough, the game's over. I will immediately have to log off. And we will not play until I get the next PC bid. I would like my friends to be able to finish the game, because I know we've been wanting to finish it. Um, if they want, they could always play without me, but I know that's something we've been trying to do together. Except for Cam. Cam always looks ahead. I'm looking at you. You might be a mob, and I'm watching you. He's probably got that from TikTok. But uh, that's it. If you get a notification Saturday, it's because I rigged something up temporarily just so we can finish Skip the Backrooms. But again, if it can't keep it with the temperature under control, the stream will end until I get my next PC. As I get parts in, because I've, I've looked into it, a friend of mine said I could buy a majority of it. Uh, they just said probably not the uh, graphics card. And what was it? Okay, brother. They said the only thing that they recommend waiting on was the CPU and GPU. <laughs> they said motherboards don't usually have issues. Um, RAM, power supply, stuff like that don't usually have issues. So I will probably start looking into order that. I'll probably start with the case. And the RAM, I might only buy like one or two things at a time. But what I'll do is I will buy them. And as parts come in, as I'm able to get them, I will set them in the back, probably in the red chair. And um, whenever I get to either a quarter to half of the way there, I will have a stream to keep up the process. Um, the last components will be the graphics card and the CPU. I even when they all come in, if it's not a day I'm off, I pull up the stream. If I can get it all in before a Tuesday, then I will put it together Tuesday. And if I can get it all put together, which I don't know how stressful that's going to be, um, then we will stream. But if not, I will have a hey, I'll I'll put up a quick cloud share and say, hey, look, it's all in. I won't be free until so and so day, I'll put it together. If I have time, we will play that night. If not, I will be available the following week. But I will update y'all as I get more parts. 
I am Baker Place, and I thank each and every one of you for being here. I am sorry that I will be taking some time off, but again, I might rig something up for Saturday for one more game. If not, I hope to see y'all on the next live stream. Bye-bye.